Hello, thanks for watching. My name is Doug Reif, and today I'm going to walk you through the new Server Group Administration Console available in 9.104. A typical remedy environment includes multiple servers in a server group. This allows for high availability and scaling. Having multiple servers can increase the management effort of the environment. This new console tries to address this by simplifying the management of a server group, performing actions across servers from a single page, and being able to perform these from any server in the group. The features of this new console are a server group dashboard, full text search management, manage processes, log management, viewing logs, the longest command log, manage user licenses, current operation owner, and more. Now I'll demonstrate each one of these features for you. I've just logged into my server as an administrator. Now I'm going to click on the application's flyout and I'll click AR System Server Group Administration and you'll see the AR System Server Group console here. When I click on that, I'll get the new application here. The first screen that comes up is the Server Group Dashboard. This dashboard consists of six meters that can help give you an overall view of the health of your server group. As you can see, the meters here are the FTS pending indexing. This shows the number of records that have yet to be indexed. The application pending load shows the number of records that are sitting in the application pending form yet to be processed. The pending email messages meter shows the number of email messages waiting to be sent. The CAI events and sysactions meters both show the number of records waiting to be processed. And the last one, the longest not sent email in days, shows any emails that have been sitting waiting for a long period of time to be sent out. The next option is the FTS management tool. From here, you can configure all of the servers in your server group for FTS indexing. You can also monitor the status. So from here, I can see which servers are, are currently indexing. I can see which servers are searchers and which ones are indexers. And I can configure all the different parameters. I can also perform a complete server re-index from here, and I can perform a re-index by form. For example, I'll select the help desk form. I'll click re-index. It will start the index automatically, and below I'll see a status showing me the progress of that re-index going on. If I click a full re-index, I will also see the status of the full re-index. So I can see here all the green items are forms that have already, at this point in time, already completed their re-indexing. You're going to see which forms have yet to be completed. The next screen is Manage Processes. From here you can see the processes that are running from AR Monitor on every server in the server group. You can also modify and view the settings for each of the processes. For example, I'll click on the default Java plugin server, and below you can see the settings for that Java plugin server. For every process, I can choose an operation, such as stop, start, restart, refresh, update, and add. If I click any of these options, like stop, then I'll click on the execute operation button here for it to take effect. I can also choose update, and I can change parameters. For example, I can change the XMX setting for this particular process if I'd like. When I'm done, I would choose the execute operation button and then restart the operation. One important note is that this screen itself runs off of a plugin that's typically on the default Java plugin server. So you don't want to stop the Java plugin server on the same server that you're logged into, otherwise you'll lose functionality to the screen. Okay, the next section is the log management. Now the log management screen is fully documented and I'll provide you a link where you can read the documentation. This screen allows you to enable logging on every server in the server group from a single console. The next option is view logs. This option allows you to select a server name from any server in your group and choose a log that you would like to read. You can get that log and you can open up the log here from your client. The next screen is the longest command log. From here you can configure the longest API and SQL settings for every server in your group. Based on these settings, every server will record the longest APIs and SQLs into memory. And now you can save the in-memory data to forms. 
And from this one central location, you can view the longest APIs and SQLs from across the entire server group. And you can see here the elapsed time showing the longest APIs and the longest SQLs. The next section is the Manage User Licenses. This screen shows the original Manage User Licenses information, but from across every server in your server group. For example, I have a user demo here that's logged in from two different servers, so I see both servers listed on the server list. So this gives you one centralized location for looking at the users logged in across the entire server group. The next section is the current operation owner. This screen shows every operation in the server group, which server owns it, and whether that server is the primary owner for that functionality. For example, in this case, approval server is owned by a server that is not ranked number one for that operation. Everything else is. So this gives you a nice overview of your operations in your server group. The next screen is the ranking form. This screen is a simple search screen on your operation ranking. So from here you can view and set your server group operation ranking. The next section is service failover. This is the service failover ranking form. This is where you can set all your server group service failover operations. The next feature is just simply the groups form. And then we have the users form. These are just simple search windows against those forms. The last item is configuration. I won't go into detail here, but from here you can set up a server list that you can use for, with various of the other operations. And you can configure the dashboard. And that's it for the new Server Group Administration Console. Thank you for watching this demo. This new console is now available for download at BMC Communities using the following URL. Thank you very much for watching.